welcome to another vlog. I have been baby wearing so I figured I would give you an update since in the last vlog I was really struggling with carriers and I knew I needed a good one so I ordered this one. It's already got some coffee spillage on it from this morning. This is the new carrier. I know I have not gotten dressed for the day. Sometimes I get a chance to. Other times I'm like, it's fine if I'm in my row in PJs for a while. Um, but here is the carrier. So this is the Ergo Baby Embrace carrier. Like you saw, putting him in it is so, so simple. And that's something that I really wanted. I wanted simple, easy. I wanted something that he liked. He's been asleep for probably a, almost an hour in this thing. I was able to make my coffee. I was able to even do some reading this morning, which is pretty rare. It's got a good position for his like bum and his hips, as you can see. And it's honestly just like two, it's three buckles. It's the buckle for this part, and then it's the two buckles for these and these cross in the back. I love this. I'm gonna link this because if you are a mom looking for a good carrier, this is a really easy one. Like there's no learning curve. He likes it, it's cute. So that's a plus so excited to have it so he's getting kind of fussy we'll see how much longer he wants to stay in this but i do uh, if he's still doing good i might put some dishes away since let's be honest i was telling nick this morning that sometimes like he's been pretty good at like doing the dishes at night for me so that i don't have to do the dishes because it's extremely hard for me to find time to do the dishes. It's not really a chore that I can do easily while I'm baby wearing, but putting them away, I can do. But I was telling him that usually putting like just this small amount of dishes away takes me like almost all day. Like I'll do a little bit and then he'll, he'll fuss and then I'll come and I'll put a couple more. Another hour goes by, I'll put like three more away and then he'll need me. It's just like one of those things. He like knows when I leave him. Anyway, so I'm gonna put some dishes away. <laughs> about being a mom <laughs> is that you have to be okay and start getting used to being interrupted during like any task that you do, which used to be one of like my biggest pet peeves is like if I am in the middle of doing something or I am in the middle of a conversation, whatever it is, I hate being interrupted. And so this is like a very humbling experience for me to be interrupted with everything like everything i think it's different when it's your own child and so i've found that god's given me a lot of grace to be fine with being interrupted which has been surprising to me because that's something i've always hated but i am gonna try to get some editing done today um let's go back into my office now because we're like done out here We'll see how much longer he's fine being in the carrier because sometimes he gets a little squirrely. But I do have this video that I'm trying to edit and like I was talking about being interrupted. Editing would usually take me a day to do depending on what it was. If I was able to like dedicate a good chunk of hours um, from start to finish, I could get it done in a day. Editing is one of those things that it is very difficult to be interrupted because it's like a creative space and it kind of flows, especially with vlogs. I feel like they take a little bit more creativity with how you edit it, the music you use, the transitions you use, the shots you decide to keep and not keep and all that kind of stuff. It takes a while to get in it but then once you're in it, like I feel like you almost have to stay in it to make it cohesive and it flow well. So editing is a little bit more difficult um, if it's interrupted and broken up. But I've been editing this one video for a couple days now. I only get a little bit of time um, while he's like resting or quiet. So I'll either have him here in the carrier 
which I love because I love just like holding him. I've had like the boppy pillow on me and had him like laying on me. Then it also makes it easy if I need to feed him. So I've literally fed him while editing. <laughs> Things get wild in this room. But then I also have his little chair that I will set him in. We're gonna see how much editing I can get done today because I would love to get back onto my Mondays and Fridays schedule or at least like still keep those days as my uploading days. If I can get this done today, I should be able to actually upload it on Friday. So it'd be nice to get back to like Friday uploads at least while I like have the baby. One video a week with the newborn I don't know how practical that is. <laughs> He can go into his little chair and then I can finish some editing. Okay, so he just ate. I'm gonna hold him upright for a little bit longer and then we'll change him. I'm hoping for like a half an hour session of editing because I've really only edited for like five minutes. <laughs> I can do some stuff like one-handed, like if I'm holding him like this, I can do some editing one-handed. It just takes a lot longer. Look at these sweet cuddles. Like, nothing is better than this, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing is better, even if I'm not as productive, not even close to as productive as I used to be. This is the best. I just think he's the cutest little bean ever. I love him so much. I love you so much, sweetie. Yeah. Aren't you? I'm gonna change you. Is that right? Oh, we're being cozy. Oh, we're being cozy. Oh, clean on your bean. Hello. Oh, clean. Okay, so now that I have him in the little chair, I'm going to try and run and get some normal clothes on for the day. Mama's back. Hi, sweetie. Look at you, you're so cute. I can't take it. Look at your toys. You're a silly boy. You're so silly. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but it is like so stormy outside. It's been like lightning, thunder, raining. Just a dreary, dreary day. Y'all, this storm is no joke. <laughs> I'm giving Elliot some playtime on the little playmat. He loves this thing. This is the love every playmat. So one of the cool things about this playmat are these like contrast cards that can like slide into these little, these like card holders and you can like flip them around to see if he loses interest in one of them. I usually like flip it, give him a new scenery and then they also have more of them. So be like a more simple one on one side and then like a more intricate one on the other side. He loves this one. I'm gonna change this one out because he, let's change this one. He loves these cards and little babies especially love the contrasting colors and it helps their eyes like engage with different shapes and things. So I have loved using these contrast cards with him and this play gym makes it like so much easier to just like put him here and lay him down and have him like just stare at every single one. He'll be happy here for a while. Like it takes him a while until he's like, okay, 
I'm bored, I've had enough, or like I'm overstimulated and then I'll take him out, but like he will just stare and stare and stare. So this has been a great, great asset <laughs> to me if I just need a little bit of time to like set him down. He gets some learning in. It's been really fun to see him engaging more and more just with the world in general. And I've been able to see that these cards actually have played a big factor in that. I'm obsessed, <laughs> truly. We just spent some time resting. He took a little nap on me, fed him again. He went back to sleep. That can be typical for around the afternoon time. He just loves to have contact naps and you know, I want to soak up these moments as much as I get them. But one of the things that I struggle with is finding time or the ability to eat and drink. So I think I'm going to eat this protein bar and a banana. Sometimes I'll make a smoothie. Oh, I should make a smoothie. We're going to make a smoothie. It's been, it's been decided. I usually put him up on the counter. He's asleep right now, so I know that the blender is gonna wake him up. If he's awake and he sees that I'm nearby, then he shouldn't be as fussy. being able to set this on the counter. It's like so helpful. And this is such a cute like rocker. I'll link this in the description as well because I really love this thing. And these are just the love every toy. So it comes with two different toys that go on there. But because the contrasting colors is what gets his attention right now, I put these up here. He likes these. He's so cozy in there and I'll set him up on the counter if I'm, obviously, I, I wore him this morning, but I'll set him up on the counter when I um, make my coffee, make my smoothie. I love doing this if I'm not like wearing him. My mother-in-law wants to FaceTime today, so I think we're gonna hop on a little FaceTime call here um, and chat with her while she's on her break at work. It's called Grandma. It's called Grandma. There's Grandma. I'm like, oh, he's getting just so much bigger, it seems like, in every, every I know. photo, every, every video. Sometimes I look at him and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can see him as a teenager already. This is too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just finished up my little FaceTime with my mother-in-law. So now I'm gonna, I put the baby back in the chair and I'm gonna put him under my desk. It's about 3 p.m. now. We'll see how long he sleeps. Tibbs has also joined. This is the life. Is this not the life? I've got my cute cat over there. I've got my cute baby here and I'm doing work that I really, really enjoy. Some days are just good days. Today has been a good day. <laughs> We've been three minutes into editing. Guess who is fussy? Why does this always happen? Hi, buddy. My whole day, you guys, is dictated by him, which is fine. It's fine. It honestly is fine. I'm not being like sarcastic or dramatic. Like it, it is fine. I know that my number one job is to be his mom and is to take care of him. So 
that is obviously the priority. YouTube stuff, I love it. It's like literally one of my favorite things to do, but now my new favorite thing to do is to take care of him. So I'm not upset that I'm not getting to this stuff. Like, I don't feel upset. It's just kind of like this ironic, like, oh, it'd be nice to get this done, but kind of like, we'll see. All right, buddy. Look at that handsome boy. just finished dinner and we are going to give the little guy a bath tonight. I don't give him baths regularly just because his skin is so sensitive as a newborn so we usually do it I don't know maybe like once or twice a week. We've got the Kikaru peanut changer. This is what I put towel on. I also get his towel and his sleeper ready and then just a couple minutes before we take him out of the bath, pop it in the dryer just to heat it up. Then I take a little bowl of some sort and what I do with this is I put some soap in it and then fill it with warm water and then it like dilutes the soap so like there's not soap going like directly on his skin. So it's kind of like a diluted soapy water. And then I have like little baby washcloths so go here wash 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 <laughs> and then we have this baby bathtub and i just place it in the bathtub so far he's liked baths i think he likes being warm and cozy in it nice and warm and then you get this one away hi handsome do you want a bath look at this cute little sharp chin you want to see Mama? He says, Mom, you're the prettiest girl I've ever seen in my life. He is so handsome, I can't stand it. So I must fall. Come to Mama, look at this cute baby boy. I love him, he's all clean. Yes, did you like your bath time? We love him so much. Oh, he's doing the head. He's ready to eat. He's clearly wanting me for other reasons. There she goes. You stole my phone. There she goes again. And again. Sleep, but I 